Today we're looking at the OliWiz HTD-826 UHF handheld radio, so keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, different radios meet different needs, and sometimes you may need a dirt simple radio for communicating with friends, family, or coworkers. OliWiz meets that need with their HTD-826 handheld radio. Uh, the OliWiz is a 16-channel, UHF-only uh, handheld radio, 2 watts of power. And OliWiz, was, they were kind enough to send me a couple units to review and do a little video on. So, let's take a look at the HTD-826. According to their website, the OliWiz HTD-826 handheld was designed in America and inspired by the look of high-performance sports cars. With that aside, you know, the radio has sweeping lines and sporty appearance, making it more attractive and ergonomic. Uh, the radio, albeit small, is lightweight and easy to hold. The features of the HTD-826 include 16 channels, 2 watts of power, UHF 406 to 470 megahertz operation, CT, CSS, and DCS tone control, an 1800 milliamp hour long life battery, and IP54 dust and water resistance. Operation is really simple. On the top of the radio is a power and volume knob and the channel selector. On the side is a large push to talk and also two programmable buttons. The other side has a common two pin connection for headphones, speaker mic, or a programming cable. When you turn the radio on, the voice announce tells you which channel you are on. No display on this radio, so you may want to make a little cheat sheet with the channel configuration. Speaking of channels, the radio does come pre-programmed with 16 UHF channels in the 470 megahertz range. Only two of these channels, 5 and 6, fall in the GMRS and FRS bands, so if you wish to use the radio in the U.S., you will want to stay on those channels or reprogram the radio for whatever radio service you are authorized to use. It's really up to you to follow the applicable rules and regulations for your country's radio communications governing body. So to test this radio, I programmed a variety of local amateur radio UHF repeaters and simplex channels. Programming was pretty straightforward. The radio does not come with a programming cable, but any USB to two pin cable should work. I put a link in the video description if you need a cable. On the air, audio quality is good, the speaker is relatively loud, and the radio has a nice feel in the hand. So even though it is a bit on the small side, it's still very easy to hold. With two watts of transmit power, you should be able to get about a mile of simplex range and up to three days of standby operation on a single battery charge. All in all, it does what it is supposed to do. So to break it down, what I liked about this radio is simple ergonomic design, loud audio, long battery life, and IP54 dust and water resistance. On the downside, you know, the pre-programmed channels are a poor fit for U.S. radio services. There's no FCC Part 95 type acceptance, which may limit its use on GMRS or FRS, and the channel selector numbers are kind of hard to read. So the bottom line is, the OliWiz HTD-826 is a UHF 16-channel radio that should meet your needs if you're looking for a step above the discount store blister pack radios or you want something that's simple, easy to use for the amateur radio service. Links to purchase this radio can be found in my video description below. So for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give me that big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And maybe check out some of the other videos that are suggested right along here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Subscribing uh, lets you know when future videos are being released. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.